Doesn't ombre look beautiful? From this to this in a week and a half. I bet I've probably literally bought or acquired horses that needed rescue, probably 500 horses in the past 30 years. And I, good morning everybody. It is a beautiful Saturday morning on the farm. I think you'll probably be watching this the next day, but guys, I am so, so excited. Ombre's gone from nearly dead to thriving and doing well. He's got a long ways to go, but the cool thing is he's happy and he's eating and he's being taken care of thanks to so many of you who have helped and sent grain and dewormers and tractor supply gift cards through our Amazon wish list. We can't thank you enough, but I'm excited to just show you how he's doing this morning and see how well you really know us. Some of you know us very well, but a lot of you are new to our channel and honestly, you don't know a whole lot about us unless you've gone back and watched a lot of our videos which some of you have, and we always love that. But I'm gonna just tell you a little bit more about us so that you know that it's not just me involved in the farm on Route 66. There's a whole family behind this channel. So thanks for watching, and let me tell you a little bit more about the farm on Route 66 and the farm family. You can see ebony and ivory back there. And then look at these ombre and Luna. They're back here eating. It's my first morning to give each of them their own grain. And I just gave them a, a little handful because we're gonna ease into it. When one's been as neglected and starved down as ombre, you definitely don't want to hurry into it. But today I put some hay in each individual blue barrel and then I put a handful of grain because ombre maybe has never even eaten grain or supplements. When I say grain, I, I'm, that's just a generic term for the supplement. The It's kind of a sweet feed that's actually designed for horses that need to put on weight and and receive more nutrition and nutrients but there you have it guys don't they look good luna's loving her fly mask and someone asked what is that for well i forget sometimes we have some of you watching our channel that are just salt of the earth kind good people and yet you don't know horses and and I forget that sometimes. A fly mask, if I was to put that on you, you could see out fine. And yet, it blocks some of the sun and it also keeps the flies away from her eyes. And since she has those blue eyes, she has a tendency to kinda, if the flies start irritating her, then it causes some, what do you call it? Just some drainage or some tears to kind of come down and that attracts more flies and it compounds the problem. So a fly mask for her is perfect. I could put a fly mask on every one of my horses, but the darker horses seem to not have as many issues with it. And when you have 20 horses, it's not feasible to put on fly masks every day. I don't have time. I've been leaving for work every morning before dark or before it gets light and getting home late and so I just don't have time. But there you have it guys. Luna and Ombre. And I'm purposefully not getting too close to Ombre. He's still skittish of me. And so some of our upcoming videos will be gaining trust with him. He loves me. He comes running to the fence now when I have feed. But without feed, he's still very standoffish, but that will change.
we're just getting him healthy and happy. And then we'll go to the next step. Well, we have been so blessed lately. We have had, I think, 3,000 new subscribers in just the past two weeks. And many of you came to our channel because of these two horses right here. You have the heart of a rescuer. You love the story of taking a horse that's been neglected and that was down on his luck. And hopefully we're gonna get him to thrive and be healthy and love us and we already love him. So thanks for coming along. But I realized many of you don't really know us. You you saw me on the screen and I've, there's so many nice comments I, and I thank you. Alan, you're so amazing. Alan, you have such a big heart. Alan, this and that. And I appreciate that, I really do. But behind me is a family of amazing people. And I am just a small part of the farm on Route 66. I am so blessed to have the most amazing wife ever. She is awesome. Best decision I've ever made in this life. And I am so grateful I will have her for eternity. She is the one that really holds things together. She's the one that makes things happen. She's the one that just, she's my princess. And, and I'm so grateful for the wife, the mother, and the grandmother that she is. She's just awesome. We have four children. We've been blessed with four children. Our two oldest are married. Our oldest applying to dental school. He and his wife both have finished um, their bachelor's degrees and my daughter-in-law, Shalea, has uh, finished her master's degree. And she is working as a school teacher while um, Bryson is applying to dental school. My next oldest, Kaylee, is married to Roy, and they also have both finished bachelor's degrees. I'm really proud of just how they jumped into their education. They work so hard, and they're just awesome. Roy is now working on a master's degree in agronomy, and Kaylee got her degree in um, accounting. So. It's just awesome. Our two oldest kids married well and are doing well. Each of them have blessed us with two grandkids. So we have four grandkids and Kaylee is pregnant with a fifth. So we have our fifth grandchild on the way. We could not be more blessed and more grateful to God for, for our wonderful family and for the blessings that we enjoy. Next, let me tell you about Blake. Um, Blake is our 19 year old that will turn 20 this next week. And those of you that have been with us for a long time probably miss Blake. Not as much as we miss Blake, but you probably miss Blake. He's the one that would train a lot of the horses. He's, he's truly the cowboy, the horseman, and he's a hard worker and he's just a delight to have around. Well, he chose to serve a mission for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, and he has been out for 14 months serving a mission. We don't get to see him that whole time, but we do get to talk to him through social media, which is awesome. So we get to FaceTime with him once a week, and we look forward to that all the time. He will be home in June. We'll show some pictures here. He is doing so good. We are so proud of him. His desire is to invite people to come to Jesus Christ and to find peace and to serve them and to help them. And, and just in this world that's pretty chaotic, he wants to invite people to, to find rest for their souls as they find rest in their Savior, Jesus Christ. So Blake, we're proud of you. Now, as a missionary, they don't watch social media. He hasn't seen a YouTube video since he left. So he won't watch any of this, but after the mission, maybe he will. So if you want to leave nice comments for him, you're welcome to. Maybe we'll even put, trying to think how we've done this in the past. Since his birthday is this week, he's turning 20 years old. If you wanted to email us at the farm on route 66 at gmail.com and, and just in the subject heading put happy birthday, Blake, we could copy and paste all those or forward those to him. Um, if you want to wish him a happy birthday. 
So Blake, we love you and keep up the good work. We can't wait to have you back on the farm in June. Now Blake has a girlfriend that was on the channel a lot back when they were in high school. Her name is Jocelyn. And, oh, Ombre, don't leave your barrel. I hope Ombre will come back because I'll bet he didn't eat the grain yet. He's going over to see if he can eat the cow's hay. And if he doesn't eat the grain yet, that's okay. He'll learn as he goes. Right now he has all the grass he can eat and I give him hay every day. So that's additional protein and he's doing good. But I do want him to learn. Let's look and see real quick. Oh, he got to the bottom and I don't see much grain. So that's good guys. Maybe he figured it out. I'm just gonna stand over here. He still won't let me just walk up to him without walking away from me. So I'm just putting enough pressure that maybe he'll go back to his barrel. I want him to eat every last little crumb of the sweet feed stuff. There you go. Okay, so where was I at? Oh, so Blake's girlfriend, Jocelyn, used to be on the channel quite a bit when they were in high school because she loves to ride horses. Well, Jocelyn also chose to serve a mission and she got called to Leeds, England. I, I, I don't think I mentioned. Blake's mission call was to Northern California, to San Jose, speaking Spanish. And so he went to Mexico for six weeks to a mission training center, learned Spanish, and has come back and loves the Spanish language and the Latin people, whether they're, no matter where they're from, there's people from all Latino countries in California. So he loves the people of Mexico and El Salvador and Guatemala and Colombia and Chile and I, anyway, I'll forget lots of countries. So you get the idea. Jocelyn got called to Leeds, England. She didn't need to learn English, but I'm sure she's had to work on her British accent. And she is loving her mission. She's thriving and she gets home three weeks before Blake. So we're all wondering where, how this love story may unfold. They've just kind of had a crush on each other since seventh grade, but they were very wise in their dating. They went and did lots of fun things. Um, they didn't even kiss for the first time till after high school. So just good, good kids that are both doing great things. And so hopefully we can show some pictures of Jocelyn on her mission. And you've seen the, the pictures of Blake. That leaves us to our youngest, and that's Casey. Casey is a junior this year, and she is such a delight. It's just so awesome to have her. Well, and I need to mention our other daughter, our French daughter, Maureen. Maureen came last year as an exchange student from France. Those of you that have been watching our channel for a long time know all about her. I'll show you a few pictures of Maureen. I wish all of you could get to know her. She's amazing. So it's kind of weird to have a home that's just us with Casey this year. But we're loving being with Casey and we're actually heading to her volleyball tournament right after I finish video on this. So she is a heck of an athlete. She excels at sports. She's a varsity volleyball player. Um, I think she'll probably be on the varsity basketball team this year. And then she has been one of the top high jump jumpers in the one, Arizona 1A um, division since she's been a freshman. She's just awesome. And so, Casey, we love you. The funny thing is our, our kids don't watch these much, so I could almost say anything I want uh, about them because they live the life, they don't go watch it. I hope in 20 years I'll go back and watch and be like, man, that's so fun. Mom and dad, I didn't know you are bragging about us all the time on camera, but Casey is not only an amazing athlete, she's just an amazing girl. And so we love our kids, we love our grandkids. We have been so blessed. Um, God has blessed us greatly. And 
So those of you new to our channel, we love to rescue horses. But we also realized that pretty much everything important to us starts with the letter F. So it sounds bad until I explain, but we realized that we like our F words. <laughs> Family, faith, fun, friends, food, freedom, and the farm. I, I hope I mentioned all of them. But if you watch our channel, we do love to rescue horses. We love to take a horse that has been in a bad situation and help them become healthy and useful. A horse that doesn't get trained to do something more is just a, a pasture ornament. And normally if, if that's all that they're being used for us to look at, Oftentimes people get tired of them or they just get busy and they stop giving them the attention that they need and then sometimes the food they need and that's what happens. But if you have a horse that is useful, that can be ridden, that loves to, um, to be led and loaded and groomed and all those things, it makes them more likely to continue to prosper. So that's what we like to do, is spend time getting horses healthy and useful. But I also have this other passion, and that is I love to raise registered quarter horses. And some people may think that that's a conflict of interest or that those are opposing views, but I don't know. I, In a way, I see where people can, there's a lot of neglected horses out there and yet and so people say why do people keep breeding horses you know what i think people need to be responsible and need to be careful for sure but my grandpa started raising registered quarter horses probably 60 to 70 years ago and we've been able to keep that bloodline in our family and i love that and there's families that may have a registered golden retriever and then they have their, their mixed breed rescue dog that they got at the pound and they love them both. And, and to me, that's kind of what it's like. I love having registered court horses. I love rescuing. And so I hope it, in your mind, that's not a conflict. Um, but when you see me showing some beautiful registered court horses, I didn't want you to get confused like, hey, wait, I thought this guy was a rescue guy. I am, I'm both. I bet I've probably literally bought or acquired horses that needed rescue, probably 500 horses in the past 30 years. And I, my goal is always the same and that is to get them more healthy and more useful and get them to a good home. But I've also raised some beautiful quarter horses. And I actually have a registered quarter horse that we call 66 for the farm on Route 66. And I was able last week, because I have him leased out, I've had him leased out the past two years to a farm up in Bayfield, Colorado, Martin's Quarter Horses in Bayfield, Colorado. And I was able to go see his babies as well as some of the other Martin's babies. They have beautiful horses. We'll put their phone number so you can contact them if you'd like to. But go with me as I went up there and checked on the babies. And then 66 is actually going to another friend. You may wonder why I'm leasing out my stallion. I've only got Lex that's old enough to breed right now or that's being bred right now. So I have one mare. I don't need a stallion that could cover many mares on a ranch. And so he will be going to Blanding, Utah. So you have some great things ahead of you. But tell me what you think, guys. Doesn't ombre look beautiful? From this to this in a week and a half. Can you imagine what he's gonna look like in a month or two or three? I am so excited. So come with me to Martin's Quarter Horses and thanks again for your support of our channel and of our family. I am so blessed to have the family that I have, to have the kids that I have, the grandkids that I have, and to have the greatest wife ever. 
Have a great day, guys. Let's go look at those Martin's Quarter Horses, and you have a great day. Hey, guys. About three or four years ago, I can't remember exactly, we were on vacation as a family in Pagosa Springs, Colorado. And we drove by a pasture full of beautiful horses. And it started a friendship with, sorry, I'm trying to open a gate. But it started a friendship with Chris and Susie Martin at Martin's Quarter Horses. And it led to me leasing my stallion, 66, to them. And I am so excited because today I'm going to get to look at some of his babies that have been born here at Martin's Quarter Horses. And uh, you get to come with me. So let's go check them out. So at least. My stallion 66 to Martin's for two years. So last year he bred these mares and this year he's bred these mares. So the lease is almost over, but the first crop of babies is here and then there'll be another crop next year. And I believe all of them are spoken for, but I think Susie's gonna come join us and then we'll find out for sure. Sorry for the wind, but I think you'll, it'll be worth any wind that's out here for you to see these beautiful babies. Guys, this is my stallion 66. He came to say hi to me. Hey buddy, how are you? How are you? Oh, hey, how are you boy? Isn't he a pretty boy, guys? This is my Stallion 66. He is beautiful. So let's go check out his babies. Wow. Look at these. There's one little colt. Wow, look how beautiful. These are gorgeous. This one I think, oh no, that's the filly. Look at that guys. Hasn't 66 done a great job? <laughs> These are his offspring. And you can see why I wanted a lease. 66 to Martin is because they have some of the most beautiful horses in the country. Wow, look at this one. Oh wow, that's gorgeous. I think this is the one going to Amory actually. So the deal was, because of my lease, I got to pick my choice of the babies. Well, Amory rode Peppy for me, and in return, she got my pick. And I believe this is the one going to Amory. Isn't he gorgeous? And then, for my second year pick, Martins are letting me go ahead and choose one that's already been born. So I'm gonna show you which one I'm getting. He's the youngest of the bunch, so he was born the latest. 
but he's gonna be a blue roan and this is him. That's him guys. He took off running towards mama. That's gonna be my pick. And look at that red roan. He may still be available and there's another one. Look how gorgeous these all are guys. What do you think guys? Or what do you think? everyone did 66 do a good job okay this is the one i get right here and he's not rolling out a lot yet but he's also the youngest of the bunch but he's a good looking dude so that one will be coming to the farm here in a couple months I think this one's still available, guys. We'll ask Susie. Oh my gosh, look at those. Aren't those gorgeous? Well, everybody, what do you think? 66 left his mark. And I think these are some of the most beautiful babies in the country. So we will leave a way to contact the Martins and Susie's walking this way so let's see what she says if there's any still available I hope they had the right place how are you good yeah so what's his mom's name Yolanda? Yolanda. I think he's got some gray tint to his flank. Uh, he's he's definitely going to be blue. Yeah. He's just slower than the rest. Yeah. This mare had a flower fox cold a couple years ago that went to Iowa. It sure is a nice horse and they're doing good things with him. Wow. Since I'm on a work trip, I'm in a... Oops, about tripped over that wire. I'm in a hurry to get to my next meeting, but if you aren't into roans for some reason, let me show you some of their other horses. They've got some of the most beautiful horses around. Wow, guys. This one would be a half <laughs> sister to Peppy. Look at that. And maybe a full sister. I'll have to ask when Susie gets here. But man, isn't this beautiful, guys? All these beautiful horses. So in this pasture, the stallion is Wileywood. Well, a Wileywood horse. I think Wiley Wood is on his papers. But look at these big buckskins and duns. Beautiful. They're all spoken for. So there's none available this year. So you better give them a call and give them a deposit so you can get on the list for next year. Because they go fast and you can see why. Look at those big butts, beautiful horses.